The Sava is in distress. Spanning an incredible 926 kilometers, the Sava is the largest tributary of the Danube by discharge. Through changes in land use and flood defense regulations, the Sava is now unrecognizable from its natural form. Over generations, we have become accustomed to seeing our rivers restricted and restrained. But we are learning that this regulation of natural processes is detrimental to both the environment and human well-being. There are many problems associated with river regulation, and riverbed incision is one that is particularly problematic for the Sava. This is the process by which a river cuts downward into its bed, deepening the channel. Riverbed incision has been accelerated rapidly by the construction of dams and straightening the river course, and it has increased flood risk, threatening to destabilize Zagreb's bridges and embankments. It also impacts groundwater, curtailing supplies of drinking water, undermining agriculture and forestry, dramatically reducing biodiversity, and eliminating river recreation areas. So what is the alternative? Located in the heart of the Austrian Alps, the Drava River is a perfect example of how restoring a channeled river to a semi-natural state can build community resilience, enhance nature, and increase human well-being. On this side where we are standing here now, it's called uh, Kleblach. Uh, why they did this was because there was a strong riverbed incision. So the riverbed um, deepened uh, year by year, and so they had to do something because it was a problem for flood protection. The bank protection started to fall into the river, and it was a problem also for the uh, ecology of the alluvial forest, of the riparian forests, and so they uh, had to, to do something. And there were river widenings on, uh, on the right bank, um, and so they wanted to give the river more, more place to develop more dynamically and, uh, and more freely. After they built this measure, of course, the whole area got more, a lot more dynamic. There were a lot more different uh, habitats. Um, there were slowly flowing and, and fast flowing areas. So this, of course, had a really a good benefit for, for biodiversity. This project is a clear example of how river widening can transform the landscape. And our Sava River Restoration Report outlines how this approach can also heal the Sava. In our feasibility study, we divided the, the River Sava into five sections where different conditions of the River Sava appear. We are now in our last section, in the fifth section, downstream of the city of Zagreb. And this section, like it, you can see in the background, is a very good example for how the river could look like uh, in the upper sections. Each site is unique and will benefit from river widening in an abundance of ways, from lower river maintenance, improved flood prevention, restored riparian habitats, increased biodiversity, the return of migrating fish, an increase in groundwater benefiting people, industry and ecosystems, enhanced natural beauty and recreation sites, and job creation through conservation and tourism initiatives. There is incredible potential in restoring the Sava for nature, people, economy, and industry. There are solutions. How we choose to act now will shape our lives for generations to come.